so here we have this uh, normal sized potato we will put a copper nail which will act as a anode or positive and this uh, uh, galvanized or uh, alloy uh, you can uh, an alloy actually it will work as cathode uh, negative it's 0 0.99 it's uh, almost one volt okay now we will add one more potato we will do the same the copper and Now we will connect them both in series and uh, must remember if you connect uh, them in series the voltage will be multiplied uh, but if you connect in parallel the current will be multiplied and the voltage will remain same. almost a volt which is enough to run a calculator well now we will uh, disassemble with this uh, calculator um, remove the cell and um, put a wire Now I'll just connect a wire with the calculator. The wire with the nail is negative and the wire with the copper is positive. You can see the numbers but uh, I think the current is not sufficient it fits mm. yeah, you can see the numbers on display and let's increase the voltage with the uh, more potato Okay, so here we have produced around 3.2 volt from 5 potatoes. Now let's see if we can charge a cell phone. Now for cell phone, uh, mostly the chargers are of 5 volt DC. But still it can be charged with 4.5 volt. Let's see if it works or not.
Um, it's not working. I think the current is not sufficient. Well, you can connect them in parallel to get more current. Well, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.